Hello people, once again we have another video for you. This will be a gear unboxing. Really excited about this. First of all, please do check out my sponsor, Not So Expensive Shirts. Doing a great job providing these shirts and you can check them out. You can see all the links below. If you're new to this channel, I do guitar videos, unboxing videos like this, gear demos and reviews, lesson videos, mostly everything is related to guitar. So if you like that kind of content, subscribe, click that subscribe bell, notification bell as well so that you can be informed and notified whenever I go live and do videos like this. So without further ado, I have what I need. I have my tools. I have a sweat rag because it will probably get sweaty in here. I have my knife. Just pull that out of my pocket. A miniature knife. Well, I thought it was a miniature knife. It's the other knife I've got by Gerber. Big enough to, for a box like this. And I have the wifey taking care of the camera roll. Shout out to wifey for that. All right, let's start. I don't even know where to start on this. I guess we'll just go down the middle. Looks like it has a flap to start out with. By the way, if you're interested in these kind of videos, unboxing videos, I have all kinds of other gear that I unbox, such as some guitar videos, Ibanez guitars. I unboxed an 11 rack a little while back and just some other gear demo and review videos as well. Let's see what we got going on here. What we got in there, bubble wrap? Yes, lots of bubble wrap. Let's take that out and see what we got in here. Oh boy. I'm excited, oh my goodness, to have this thing in. Okay, bubble wrap is all the way around this. So let's find out what we got. I'm just gonna pull and push. Just like that, I don't think anything else is in the box except more bubble wrap. We're good. All right, so this is a new piece of gear. Check out what I have, a Line 6 Helix LT. I cannot tell you how excited I am for this piece of gear. Let's get this bubble wrap out of the way. All right, so as you can tell, this is a brand new piece of gear. Pretty much it is brand new. I actually got it as a B stock, so I got a sweet deal on it. And uh, once again, links will be below where you can get this piece of gear as well. This is the LT version. I didn't need all the inputs and everything from the regular Helix, so I decided to opt for this one. And I actually got it cheaper than some of the other models in its class. So before we crack this bad boy open and show you what's inside, let me tell you why I chose a new modeler, okay? The main reason is updates and compatibility. I found with my 11 rack, as the Mac OS updates continue to get bigger and bigger, where we move from Mojave to Catalina, Catalina to Big Sur, I found that the 11 rack was kind of being left behind. And that really upset me because as I updated, I wasn't able to access the editor and the software. And I really love tweaking knobs and tweaking sounds and things like that on the computer as opposed to just the device, because you can deep dive into it a lot better by doing that. The Helix LT will allow me to be more updated on these things. Now they give out updates quite frequently. The last I checked, I think they're up to 3.1 in their updates. So that is a very, very important thing that you're compatible with all the technology that continues to come around, okay? This will also allow me access to a wide community of preset builders. Last I checked, I believe there was about 7,000 presets on just the Helix alone. So this also puts me in that community of all the Line 6 products from the Helix family, like the Stomp and the, the regular Helix and all the updates that the other Helix products get, I will get those as well, which is why I opted in for a bigger model like this versus the Pod Go, which kind of gets those updates after everybody else. So I wanted to be in the loop with that. And lastly, with the updates kind of leaving the 11 rack behind, it becomes harder and harder to reamp. And what reamping is, is you record your dry signal as well as your distorted or wet signal from the modeler at the same time. You can do this digitally via USB, but the problem is the 11 rack is not recognized anymore by the newer updates from Mac OS. So, this will be recognizable and it'll be a lot easier to reamp than it is now, okay? I'll leave another video one of these days on telling you why I chose the Helix brand of modelers versus the Kemper, versus the Axe FX, versus the Zoom and all those. I'll leave that for another day. So I'll just throw out a teaser there. So definitely stay tuned for that. So because of that, what happens to my 11 rack? Well, I plan on keeping it, okay? What I really wanna do is copy a lot of those presets that I use a lot on the 11 rack and recreate them here in the Helix. And I'll be happy to share that with you when I get ready to do that, which probably won't be too much longer because I can't wait to delve into this. And I know you can't either. So let's open the box, kind of see what's going on. Set my knife here for now. Take a really big wipe on the sweat rag and continue. This is one of those, it's a slider box. There we go. We slide the box out as easily as we can. And this, this packaging is pretty nice so far. It's very comparable to people like Apple and Xbox. People have upped their game as a result of Apple's packaging. I mean, it's so fluid, it's so minimalistic, and it's so sleek. 
that was already open because like I said, it was a B stock, so it has been used a little bit, but it's still covered by the warranty and everything. Let's just look at the box. I won't really read a lot of this stuff to you right now. We've already seen the front. Here's what we've got on the sides. Oh, by the way, this is my first Line 6 product ever. I haven't had the pod, haven't had anything in the Line 6 community or range of products at all. My brother has one of those, I think it's an M9 or M1 pedal, has a lot of those things. And of course, everybody loves the pod and everything, but this is my first time buying a Line 6 product. And I've heard of professional guitarists using these on records back in the early 2000s, and they sound great. So really excited about that. In the back, that up right, yes it is. So it kind of shows you what it looks like a little bit. I'll read some of these details as we actually unbox it. All right, so let's keep on going here. And here we have, I think I've got it upside down. Yes I do. We got a nice little drawing of it on the back of the inputs, outputs, and the actual pedal itself here. This is actually pretty heavy. Let's see what we got. Papers and more papers. Let's see what's in these papers, all right? Not gonna take a lot of time here. Software license agreement, probably a warranty thing. Not exactly sure what that is. There's another thing in here I'm kind of waiting to see. So we'll wait on that, get that out of the way. They have actually included a USB stick, probably for saving presets and transferring them to other Helix products, all right? So that's really cool, do not wanna lose that. I'll just put all that to the side down here. Looks like a USB cable for connecting to your computer. Power cable here, big old huge power cable. And limited refurbished B-stock warranty. Just a bunch of jargon on what that covers and everything. Also, I got an extended warranty with that because I wanted to make sure it being B-stock that it was covered under warranty. So now what we're gonna do, there that thing is. I'm gonna show you this real quick. Off my research of these Line 6 Helix products. Uh, give me just a second. There's a little cheat sheet in here. And I've heard that Line 6 claims that if you memorize this cheat sheet, you know 90% of how to use the Helix. Definitely gonna be studying that. Somebody I had seen recommended laminating it, and that's what I wanna do. That way I'll have it next to me wherever I need to go. All right, so box is becoming bulky. So we're gonna get it out of the way real quick. All right, that is gone. Get rid of these little things here. So we'll go back in the box. I'm gonna be gentle with it. Let's get this plastic off and see what we've got. Importance, by breaking the seal, you're agreeing with the license terms. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that's what that's saying there. I broke the seal and we're ready to see what's inside. What better thing can you think of to do on a rainy day than unbox new gear? This thing is heavy, heavy, massive. Oh my goodness, okay. Look at that, it is pristine, not a scratch on it. Very nice. It's got the little plastic thing, which I'll probably remove because it's all, you know, bubbly. I don't like that. If it was flat, I, I wouldn't remove it, but I don't like seeing that. So the sides are pretty nice. I don't see any scratches on that. Here we can look at the inputs. I can't believe how big this thing is. It's huge. So while you're taking a look at that, from all angles, no doubt, let's see what we've got here as far as what it's explaining on the box. It's just got maybe five different things here. Dual DSP powered Helix audio engine. So you got two blocks of DSP, basically is your CPU center processing unit kind of thing, with four discrete stereo signal pads. There's four pads you can take, 53 amps, 30 cabs, 16 different mics for your cabs, 93 effects, and you can even load your own custom IRs. We have 12 capacitive sensing foot switches. What does that mean? That means you can touch, just the touch, it's touch sensitive. You can touch to edit, to edit a parameter, you touch it and it goes straight to you. You don't have to press, you just touch. And you can hold to assign a certain effect or parameter to a foot switch. Let's say I'm, I've got it selected on the flanger. I want to control that one of these foot switches. I hold it. It says, do you want to assign it to this foot switch? I say, yes, it's done. It's that easy. You can press to engage. Hands-free pedal edit mode. Now this is really revolutionary. You can lay out your effect parameters across the switches and it says the treadle, whatever that is. I don't know if that means the foot pedal or not, but you can actually edit all your parameters with your feet. Industry leading 123 decibels of dynamic range for tremendous depth and ultra low noise. So very low noise, but a lot of powerful volume, especially for live stage performing. And it has an extensive input output section for seamless integration with your entire rig.
nice pedal it stays where you put it it's a little bit resistance but it's not too bad at all that feels really good and i like the fact like i said the, the main helix does have a, a few more inputs outputs it's got a mic input that you can use a preamp i've already got like i said the 11 rack and several audio interfaces for mic preamp so i don't need that so i've got that covered didn't need that all out here plus it's a tremendous discount if you don't go and opt for all the inputs and outputs. The good thing about this Helix LT, the light version, it has the exact same software as the regular Helix does. So you don't have to worry about skimping out on that. All the updates, all the amps, everything that comes out on the Helix comes out on this as well. Okay, it's not limited in that capacity, all right? So what are my plans for the Helix? Well, obviously I wanna record with this. I wanna start using this for recording different things and it'll be a whole lot easier since I can reamp if I want to. Tons of effects, tons of amps I can experiment with. Definitely want to use this for recording and for live use. And by live, I mean performing, maybe live performances on my YouTube channel. And if one day I should go out and perform live, whether for bluegrass or for electric guitar, this is mainly for electric guitar. I don't see a whole lot of bluegrass applications for that. We may have to get creative in that point, but this will be very beneficial to use live rather than hauling around a rack mounted unit like my 11 rack. This is made to go to just sit on the floor, plug it in, turn it on, you're good to go. I definitely want to take some of the preset patches that I'll make from the 11 rack and from other songs like my song, my single Inner Dawn, Metal Crush, maybe get those together as some patches and make those available to everybody. So this has been the Helix LT. I cannot wait to get into this to start showing you the ins and outs of this and discovering myself how to use this. I just wanted to ask you guys a question before we sign off today. How do you use your Helix? If it's a LT, if it's a Stomp, whatever it is, how do you use it? Leave that in the comments below, but also a caveat to that, that question. If you do use a Helix, what are some tips that you can give me, a complete beginner, not only on the Helix, but on the complete Line 6 family? I guess I'm part of the family now, guys. What are some tips that you can share with me on how to use this and how you use it for live, for recording, for studio, whatever it is, or even for practice. Maybe you got some practice tools. I think this has a looper, which will be very valuable as well in that regard. Thank you so much for watching. I like to say once again, a shout out to my sponsor, Not So Expensive Shirts. If you'd like to find out more about them, I have left the links for you below to check out as well as links to getting your hands on one of these wonderful, wonderful units. Make sure if you like this kind of content to subscribe, make sure to click that notification bell, like, share, and leave your comments below, as I said before. I have been Eric Beatty, and this has been the unboxing of the Helix LT. Thanks for watching, God bless, keep creating, and now it's time to play.